Why, hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Problem of the Day, starring your host, Bill Gates. That's right, I'm Bill Gates. I have time to do this because I'm super rich and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so today's problem is, what is the distance between the points with the coordinates? Negative 3, 5, and 6, negative 4. All right, so if you could, please give it your best shot. Uh, give it a try, anything. I just want you to get an answer, and then we'll go back through and see if you did it right. All right, time's up. I hope you did really great. If not, you better pause it while I'm still talking. All right, so we are looking at the distance between the points with these coordinates right here and right here. So as you may have guessed from all these square root signs, our distance formula has a square root sign, okay, or radical, if you will. All right, and whenever you have that, you have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, okay? Now these little numbers here, that just means like which coordinate it, it corresponds to. So I'm gonna write these over here. So we've got negative three, five is a coordinate, and six, negative four is a coordinate as well. Oh, that's cool. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, everybody. Negative four is a coordinate, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these little fellas up here to these little fellas down here. Okay, so um, the little twos, that just means like which coordinate. We can make this coordinate two and this coordinate one. All right, and this is our x and our y, x and our y. So if that's the case, this is our x2, y2, x1, y1. And now all you're doing is you're replacing these up here with what they correspond with down here. So square root sign, that would be six. And I like to mark them out to make sure that I actually put them in. Um, and I didn't skip anything or double up on anything, okay? Don't forget your signs in here. That's a minus sign, and then our x1, which is negative 3. Squared plus parentheses, our y, our y2, which is this little fella, minus sign, then our y1, which is this little fella, and then squared, okay? Now we just simplify. Um, you're done. The hard part's really just plugging it in correctly, and you did that. So now you just work it. 6 minus negative 3 is going to be 6 plus 3, because minus a negative turns into a positive, so it would be 9 squared. And then negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9 squared. That is 81 plus. And then whenever you put it in your calculator, don't just put negative 9 squared, because then it'll tell you it's negative 81, which is wrong. Parentheses mean you're doing negative 9 times negative 9, which makes it a positive 81. And then we add those two together, and we get 162. And then that would be your final answer, which is B. -b, -b, -b. So if you got B from your best guess, you would have gotten that question correct. If it was a multiple choice question, if you need to show your work, you probably would have gotten it wrong. And you might have gotten some points if you had shown your work and gotten it wrong, even though you showed your work. That was really complicated. If you could get a chance, please check me out at tarveracademy.com. That would be super dope of you. And um, also, I hope you have a great day. Bye.